a flow chart with names of gods from other religions entries on citizenship amendment act the hijab protest that took place in karnataka slate with isi symbols and notes on how muslims are the second class citizens these were some handwritten entries in tamil in at least four diaries recovered by the tamil nadu police from the residence of jamesha mubin the one who died in coimbatore car blast last week no matter how much effort citizens or administration put in it seems impossible to halt radicalization however the matter becomes even worse when the state gets accused of acting slow hi and welcome to tfi post i am your host sabita mishra if you are watching us on youtube please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates if you are watching us on facebook do like share and subscribe to the page let's begin with the video report Two decades after the serial blast that claimed 58 lives, Coimbatore witnessed a similar deafening explosion just before Diwali. On October 23rd, an explosion occurred in a car near famous Isavanan Temple in Ukkadam. The blast that took place on the busy street left one dead. Other than what went behind the planning, what should gain attention is the location of the blast, the temple road. To add on the blast had happened in front of a temple in communally volatile Coimbatore and the one responsible was not a new name in police directory rather he had been questioned by the national investigation agency in 2019 as he was suspected to be a islamic state sympathizer Just before the explosion the Ministry of Home Affairs had warned of possible attacks on prominent leaders in Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka by cadres of the banned Popular Front of India. All that was left for the investigation was a charred body and a number plate of the car. The investigation revealed that the car explosion was triggered by one of the two LPG cylinders kept inside the vehicle along with 29 year old Jamisha Mubin after the search of his residence 75 kg of potassium nitrate aluminum powder sulfur and charcoal were unearthed these things were probably purchased from the internet over a period of 2 years while some were procured from kerala in the cctv visuals mubin and the five men can be seen taking out a heavy object wrapped in white sack from mubin's residence at HMPR Street in Kottayam Edu less than 5 hours before the blast around 11:30 pm on October 22 UAPA has been invoked against them The National Investigation Agency has registered an FIR as it took over the case on October 27 So far 6 individuals have been arrested they have been identified as Mohammad Talka Mohammad Azaruddin Mohammad Riaz Firoz Ismail Mohammad Nawaz Ismail and Afsar Khan as per reports the accused had surveyed six temples in Coimbatore and wanted to destroy a large area including temples the NIA is looking into a larger conspiracy considering the amount of money that was spent on procuring such quantities of explosives the agency is also investigating the accused's foreign links the reports point towards three things radicalization foreign funds and targeting hindus Citing the alert sounded by the Home Ministry and the intelligence alert from July that named Jamisha Mubin, BJP state chief has asked why the police had not put him on a watch. The Bharatiya Janata Party state president has blamed systematic failure on the part of the state police machinery in preventing the blast. Anamalai accused the state DGP of ignoring intelligence inputs on a possible compromise. to the state's security ahead of the Coimbatore car blast Anamalai was the constant force that forced the state agencies to launch an immediate probe in the matter Finally the matter is now being investigated by the NIA which has a superb success record Anamalai had pointed out the loopholes in the investigation process that forced the state establishment to take swift action and mark the incident as an act of terror Super Cop Udupi Singham This is how former IPS K Anamalai Kupusami was known to the public He is a personality who has taken the political spheres of Tamil Nadu by storm Already a legend in Karnataka Anamalai is now conquering Tamil Nadu like never before 
द रीजन बिहाइंड इज कॉन्क्वेस्ट इज द हैबिट ऑफ कॉलिंग स्पेड अ स्पेड अनलाइक द लेफ्ट लिबरल कबाल द सेम वॉज विजिबल इन द कोयम्बटोर ब्लास्ट इंसिडेंट टू पुट इट सिंपली इस्लामिक टेरर इज नॉट अ न्यू फिनोमिन द कोयम्बटोर ब्लास्ट वॉज नॉट द फर्स्ट एंड वुड नॉट डेफिनेटली बी द लास्ट Hence, it is required to take strong action against the radicalization that is taking place in the name of religion.